<clears throat> hey, this is Steven from the Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome back to uh, Beginning Assembly. Today we're going to go over loops, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Basically, loops are exactly what you're thinking of when you think of a high-level programming language loop, where we're doing something a certain number of times, and uh, we only want that to uh, go through a certain number of times. So basically what you're going to want to do is you want to go to file, say you're going to open, go into edit, you know, mount the drive, um, jump into the drive, go into edit, go save, at, uh, it will automatically start as a new document, go file, save as, and then uh, go ahead and jump into, uh, so yeah, go file, save as, and call it loop.asm, and then hit OK, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so very, very simple. Um, we're going to use another registry that we haven't used yet, so it's going to be very interesting, the C registry, the count registry. And uh, basically it's going to do it as many times as you put in. So we're going to input, we're going to take that input and then uh, have it um, work with that input. Very very cheesy line there, but you know you you, under, you get it. And here, of course, as you see, forgot to put the dollar sign there. There's a the dollar sign. Okay, so now that we're done with the data, let's go ahead and jump into the code. We're gonna do the first main proct. We're gonna do our starting, and of course, if you want to do um, if you want to do uh, what's it called? Let me close this window here. If you want to do uh, macros, you can go ahead and do that if you want. A little vector address and the DX message. And here we are inputting in a character. So there we were outputting. Here we're telling it that we want a character. And then we're going to strip it so that we could use the actual count. And then we're going to move that into our account that we set here. So I guess here you could set that to question mark. And we're moving uh, from the A low into count. And then we're outputting another message. Oopsies. And then we're going to uh, we're going to output another message. And then we're going to do this new here. Uh, this is, uh, we're going to move the count into the CL, the C low registry. And that's what we're going to use to be able to count that. And here is also another thing that's very interesting here. This is the beginning of the loop. And you'll see, basically, this is the name of the loop. So we could have different loops with different names. It's almost like a method in a high-level programming language, similar to how we did macros. This is very, very cool. I really, really like this. You can have different loop names and jump to different parts of the program. So we're going to have this indented so that you know it's still inside the loop. There. So now this is a special part. So here we're doing interrupt 21H. So basically what's happening here is that if you notice, we're uh, we're setting up the message, but we have not outputted the message. You need interrupt 21h to call DOS to output the message. So this is loaded inside the DX, ready to output. Then we move the count into CL, so we're ready to count, and then uh, we we call this to output it every time that we do. And then here we're decrementing the count, and then we're jump. This stands for jump not zero to again. So we're jumping to not zero to again. Hey, hey, look, we got again right here. So it's jumping back in and outputting the message, decrementing, jump not zero to again. So basically, it's going to keep going until it equals zero. Then it's going to jump out to this loop. And then, of course, we jump, we finish the program here. So let's go ahead and go back over this again. So uh, here we have uh, two messages here, and then we have a um, a variable. 
So here we're moving uh, data to DS. Uh, we're outputting that message to say enter in what you uh, um, the count that you want, and then we're say we're stripping that as key. We're storing that in count. Then we're uh, just we're setting up the message. We're loading the message into the DX registry. So it's waiting for that command, and this is basically saying go. So we move the count into CL, and basically when you do jump not zero, it sets something called a flag. So, um, and if it sets the flag, it will jump into again. So jump not zero, so it's comparing CL, and see, comparing ZL with, with zero, and it's not zero, so it jumps into again, outputs a message, decrements, goes, keeps going forever and ever until it equals uh, zero. And then it will jump out the loop and finish the program. All right, so let's go ahead and save that again, and let's go ahead and mazen that. Loop. Zero errors. All right, very nice. And then we're going to go ahead and run loop. Uh, enter the loop count. Let's say we want to do it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Five times. Let's go ahead and call it again. Let's say eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times. So this is uh, very, very important. We're going to see this a lot in uh, the next program we look at. We're going to look at an external program next. I'm not going to write it from, or I, I might write it from scratch. And then uh, basically what that program is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to do more than one digit entry. And then we'll go over doing different comparisons and stuff like that. So uh, this is the basics of loops. Um, in the later tutorials, we're going to go over the different comparisons. As uh, there will be a lot of other things that start with the J. Like for example, this one says J and Z. There will be like jump, um, jump not equal to jump, etc., etc. So we'll see a lot of different things, and uh, you could also look those up as well look those up in the reference book that's in the description it'll have all those different jump characters but we're gonna go over some practice of some different things so uh, yeah so this was just a, a quick look into loops let's go ahead and take a, a look back at that code okay so there we are back inside the code and uh, the big thing is this guy right here. So we're having it jump around back and forth and stuff and uh, ha allow it to uh, do all the different things that we want it to do. Um, and the, so here's the name of the loop. So you do the, na the name of the, the, the loop portion with a colon. And then you have the jump not zero to again. So like I said, every time it goes down, it jumps here. If it's not zero, and it kept keeps decrementing until it is zero. All right, so uh, that is about it for this tutorial. We're going to be uh, going over. We're going to be using this a lot for the rest of the tutorials, so you'll get a lot of practice with this. All right, so this has been Stephen from uh, Legit Tech Tutorials, and if you like this video, please subscribe for more videos like in this series and other series as well. If you have any questions, email me. The link to the um, to the uh, book that I'm using as a reference is going to be inside the description and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and take it easy. Peace.